Now, one of the great things about the TriCaster is you can stream these gorgeous looking live productions over the internet. And you can stream in Windows Media or Flash. And streaming has always been one of those things, kind of a daunting task, even for a seasoned professional. But the TriCaster makes it easy with the streaming configuration panel. Let's take a look. Streaming configuration panel is accessed from the gear next to the streaming panel. And it shows you all of the content delivery networks that you have available. And you can connect to any content delivery network. These are just some that we set up. But again, you can connect to as many as you want. And any content delivery network can be uh, attached to the streaming panel. So once you set up a profile with a content delivery network, that profile can be downloaded. So you start an account, you make a profile, and then you download that profile as a file. Come back to the TriCaster, and within the streaming panel, we say, OK, we want to make a new configuration here. You can choose whether you want it to be Flash or Windows Media in push or pull. We'll go with Flash. We'll say OK. And then you can click on Import Settings, and you can load the file that you downloaded from the Content Delivery Network. And this will populate everything for you automatically. Your stream ID, the location, everything is set up for you. You can even test the connection live right within the interface using the browser inside of the streaming panel. You do have a little bit of control over the headroom of the audio. So you do want to test both audio and video on the stream before you go live. And you do have the ability to choose the resolution at which you want to stream. Standard streaming resolutions all the way up to 1280 by 720 high def streaming available in the TriCaster today. Once you have it all set up, you're ready to start the streaming process. And this can be done by either clicking on the stream button here in the interface. If you're using an 850CS, there's also a stream button available here within the record section of the control surface. Now, just like when you're recording, you can start the streaming process just by hitting the button. But in order to stop the streaming process, you have to hold down the control button and hit the streaming button. And it's done this way so you don't inadvertently hit that streaming button and stop the stream when you don't want to.